Good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. Today I am going to be doing my everyday makeup look and chat with you all. I am actually going to be traveling at the end of this week, so I have a million things to do. I honestly miss doing makeup tutorials, so perhaps we bring it back. But yeah, let's just jump right into it. I am going to start off with my favorite sunscreen. This is the Super Goop On Scene sunscreen. The best. It's so dirty though, but I love it. My friend's wedding is this upcoming Saturday in Punta Cana and I'm so excited. We're also going to be staying a couple days extra to basically do a bunch of errands over there for our personal wedding in June. But I cannot believe we're like two months away. By the way, I got my nails done yesterday. I decided to get SNS and I'm not too sure how I feel about the shape. Just because I wanted an oval shape and the girl did almond shape and it just looks, I don't know, it's just not for me. It's just not for me. But if you guys know me, you know that I prefer my at-home manis. However, I really wanted to try SNS or acrylics for my wedding because it is a destination wedding. I don't want to stress it. I usually do stick on nails, but a lot of the times they're not reliable and your nails just don't look like they do when you get them professionally done and I know that but I don't know I feel like I just need to try different places but honestly the Manny and Petty industry in White Plains is just not the best in my opinion for foundation I'm going to be using the L'Oreal True Match Nude in 5.6 medium 10 this has to be my favorite foundation at the moment drugstore wise um, it's just incredible and this is my perfect shade I feel. It also lasts forever in my opinion and it just looks like your skin but better. I still have to pack and that was honestly one of my New Year's resolutions to pack earlier like a week before I travel and just now like two days until I travel and I have not packed so I'm going to be packing today. And I'm also going to be showing you guys a Revolve haul that I'm so excited about. I got so many beautiful pieces. I honestly feel like I over-ordered for DR. Like, I'm not going to be able to wear all the pieces I got. But, you know, it is what it is. Summer's coming. The wedding is right around the corner. Perhaps our honeymoon so I can still wear the outfits that I won't wear. I feel like I should update you on wedding stuff, but to be honest, I have not done much since. Everything is booked and ready for my bridal shower though, which is nice. I remember when I did um, that wedding update for you guys with my wedding book, uh, that wasn't done. We also got Eric's tux and the groomsmen's. I think they're about to get them next week, if I'm not mistaken. Eric went on his bachelor weekend this weekend. And then my bachelorette is going to be at the end of April. For brows, I'm using this powder from Arches and Halo in dark brown. And then I'm just going to clean up my brows with this Dior concealer. I honestly had such a shitty experience yesterday at the salon. I went to one that I started going at the beginning of this month and I thought I liked it. Like they did a decent job. I did micromanage a little bit. And then this time they just rushed everything. I hate when I pay for a pedicure and they just don't remove like your callus or clean your actual feet. They just paint your nails basically. And that's exactly what they did. So. I complained a little bit. I was like, hey, there's still callus there. She's like, that's extra. I'm like, you didn't charge me extra when I came though, so. And then I had a bunch of cuticles right before she was going to start painting. And I'm like, you haven't removed my cuticles from my toenails. And she's like, oh, that's just dry skin. You need to put moisturizer. I'll moisturize you later. I'm like, that's not dry skin. So I take the nail clipper and I start clipping it off. And I'm like, do you see what I mean? And she's like, I don't know, like, that's just, like, too much, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, all right, so how much is it going to be? Because I'd rather just leave right now. Basically wanting to pay her for whatever she had done, which was nothing. And then she charged me the original price for the pedicure. And I'm like, ma'am, you have not done anything. What are you talking about? She's like, I have to call my boss. I have to call my boss. So she goes and calls her boss. And they were talking in their language. I think they were from um, Vietnam, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they were just, like, talking for a bit on the phone. 
Um, and then she basically comes back and she's like, I'll fix it for you. I'll fix it for you. So she just starts removing my cuticle. She did a decent job removing it. Then my actual feet still had, you know, callus. I went originally wanting a French pedicure and I already knew, I don't know why the hell I decided that was a good idea. But I was like, you know, I'm going to Dominican Republic. I want a French pedicure. And let's just say the lines are not lining. That's my situation right now. I'm stuck with a horrible pedicure. I don't even want to think about it. So then I went to another place to get my nails done because I was like, there's no way that I'm staying here to get my nails done. Again, the reason that I wanted to do my nails professionally was because I timed it perfectly from the time period that I'm going to be leaving to Dominican Republic for my own wedding. So I wanted to know the nail growth and stuff and basically if it's worth it and also experiment with different nail techs to find the person, right? So I get to this place and I was already on edge from the previous place. So I was definitely micromanaging the lady. However, she was just, I don't know, she was just very annoyed by me. And at a point she's like, you're talking too much. You're talking too much. And I was like, ma'am, I'm paying you. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I hate having to like micromanage, but that is honestly the reason why I prefer to do my nails at home and my pedicure at home. And this just solidified it for me that I am going to continue to do my own mani and pedi. I might still go back for my wedding nails there, but I don't know. I'm done experimenting and paying money that I am going to be left unhappy with. For concealer, I've been loving this Kosas concealer. This is in the color 5W. And then I'm going to be setting my face with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. We're also going to a John Wick premiere tonight. So I'm trying to do my makeup early for that. These little pups, by the way, are the best. For bronzer, I've been using this one from Charlotte Tilbury, which is in the color 2, medium. I feel like everyone likes using liquid bronzer and liquid blush, but I'm just still a powder girl. Like, to me, powder is more reliable. For eyeshadow, I'm just going to be using this Naked palette, which is my fave. And put some inner corner highlight. And then using this brown for my crease. For blush, I've been loving this pink blush from Dior. It's such a stunning shade. Oh my god, this mascara, you guys, has to be my new absolute favorite right now. I cannot believe how good this mascara is. It's YSL. It's insanely incredible. I feel like it's the best luxury mascara. And correct me if I'm wrong, or maybe let me know if there's any other out there. But this mascara is so good. It's very volumizing, and I just love how it feels. Let's apply the mascara. This is the wand. I mean, look at the difference. It's just so freaking good. I'm obsessed. All right, I'm all done. This is technically what I do for my everyday glam. This is not my everyday makeup. To be completely honest with you guys, I rarely use makeup nowadays. But I'm just going to set my face with this Pop Beauty setting spray. I clearly love it. And then for lips, I have this Sephora Liquid Lip in 75. And this Sephora Lip Liner in Rosewood. This is not my favorite lip liner. I need to go and buy my favorite lip liner, which is the Urban Decay. This is actually really pretty, but the best lip liner is the Urban Decay Lip Liner in Conspiracy. 
go and buy it. All right, I'm all done. I am not going to be wasting any more time. Let's do a quick revolve haul. I got some pieces for my upcoming trip and also just my upcoming event. So let's show you guys everything I got. It's honestly so hard for me to do try on hauls in this apartment that you can see everything, but this is the first dress. It's this stunning gold dress, well, like shimmery gold dress. It's perfect for the resort. I'm definitely going to be bringing it to DR with me. From the brand Super Down, so it's at a really affordable price, and it also comes in a different color. Next is this absolutely stunning hot pink dress from More To Come, also another well-priced brand. And this one in particular has a really high sexy slit, so I feel like it's only appropriate at a resort, but that's what it looks like. I am so freaking stunning. I think I might bring this or leave it for our honeymoon, but I'm not sure. This one is more of a splurge, but it's from the brand Tula Rosa, and it is the most stunning girly dress ever. We have a June wedding in Connecticut the week after ours, and I think this would be such a beautiful dress for that. I need Eric's help to zip up the top, but oh, how pretty. It would also look beautiful in Italy if we decide to go there, but who knows? We still need to book our honeymoon. This one is also from the same brand, Tula Rosa. I love, love, love their gowns. However, I got this one for a white party that I have in Dominican Republic, and it's not white. It's like an off-white ivory color, so I don't know if it would be a good dress to wear for that. However, I love that it's like such a different white dress. Like the style itself is very different than anything I've owned. I feel like you can see the color better here, but it's more of an ivory color. However, I am still in love with it. It's so pretty. All right, this one, I don't know what made me think it was a good idea, but let's just envision Natalie with a six pack. This would be really cool, right? But I'm still working out for the body. However, the dress is really pretty. It's from more to come. If you're going to a festival or Coachella to see Bad Bunny, this could be this could be a moment. All right, no one really talks about how annoying nails are when it comes to dressing yourself. Like putting leggings on with fake nails, it's not for the faint of heart. And then right now I can't even freaking put a button through here. We're gonna show you this way, but this is my favorite dress. Last but not least, dress-wise, this is my favorite dress. It's from Camila Coelho. Imagine that my arm is not here. There's buttons back here. I cannot, I cannot do it with these nails, but I'm obsessed. I am obsessed. I'm definitely bringing this to the resort. It's so stunning. It's so, so pretty. The top is like this, and I cannot do it with these nails. Mind you, they're not even that long, but this is my favorite dress. All right, next I got some bathing suits, which I don't try on my bathing suits on YouTube, but I'm going to be inserting the picture here for you guys, as well as linking everything down below. I got this two-piece from Camila Coelho, which is so, so pretty. I don't know if you can see the detail. The bottoms are high-waisted. I would size up um, if you're like around my size. I wish I got a medium because this small one is very tight. It does snatch you up. And then for the top is this stunning one shoulder top. I love this color. Again, I think it will look so beautiful in Italy if we end up going for our honeymoon. This one I'm definitely bringing to DR. It's a one piece. So, so pretty. It has a beautiful detail up here like a belt. And yeah, it's just very sexy one piece. This one is from Love Wave. Next up is this one, which has a bunch of cutouts. The most stunning gold champagne tone. It's a one shoulder, which a few cutouts throughout. And it's from Michael Costello. Last but not least is this white one piece from LPA. I think I'm going to be bringing it to my bachelorette and adding like a bow in the back. You can crisscross it a few different ways and it fits so, so nice. I'm obsessed with the fit of this one. All right, now for the grand finale. This is what I'm most excited about because they are my bridal shower shoes. Let me show you. How stunning are these? They strap up at the ankle, but look at the butterfly detail. 
this is a little hint to my bridal shower but yeah that's pretty much my revolve haul i hope you guys enjoyed let me know if you want to see more revolve hauls because honestly i feel like you can find some amazing gems there especially for vacation especially for a special occasion if you want to see me style these pieces definitely follow me on instagram and also tiktok you guys already know the deal but everything like i mentioned is going to be listed down below and linked as well as my favorites from revolve which i add and update quite often so yes now let's move on to packing which I need to now narrow down from everything that I showed you. I might have to move packing to DR for tomorrow because I forgot that we have a wedding planning meeting today, like a big one with our budget and everything, which I'm not excited about. And then I also have a movie premiere tonight. So perhaps no time for that. Maybe we'll do it tomorrow. But I know that I'm going to bring this one, so I'll fold it separately, as well as the hot pink one, and the black bathing suit. Oh, and the nude one. And also this one. Everything else I'll leave for other occasions coming up. For hopping into this meeting, I'm going to try to make something to eat. And by that, I mean reheat something. I made the most delicious ground turkey the other day and I have some leftover so I'm going to reheat that with some lettuce and cucumber. This is the saddest lettuce by the way, what the heck. We cannot do grocery. Should have put it, oh, this is the worst bowl ever. All right, so here is my quick little salad, turkey bowl, whatever you want to call it. And of course, my favorite, spinner. It's the next day. I totally forgot to continue vlogging yesterday, but we went to the John Wick movie premiere, which was really nice, really cool. Great movie, 10 out of 10 recommend. It's really, really long though. Um, and the actions were a little over the top at times, but very John Wick and an amazing finale in my opinion. Anyways, I have a million, a million things to do today. We are flying out tomorrow to DR. I still need to pack. My New Year's resolution went out the window. I also need to wash my brushes, which I'm a little concerned about because I don't think they're going to be dry for tomorrow. But let's just begin with that so that I can move on my day because I also need to go to the store get a couple things probably Target also Trader Joe's I'm stressed. I my computer is so dirty, but I Had another meeting this morning with the planners the wedding planner things are getting very serious very quickly and very expensive That's all I'm gonna say right now our budget also out the window. Brushes are finally cleaned. This honestly makes me so happy. I hate washing brushes, but once they're clean, it's such a liberating feeling. I'm not gonna lie, I have since January that I don't clean my brushes, which is mind-blowing. I don't do my makeup as often, and I have a bunch of brushes, so I do alternate, but yeah, it's been way too long. But now I'm going to start selecting the outfits to start packing because I should have done this a while now. hours later and this is where i'm at a hot mess but i ended up sorting out the outfits per night and day outfit it's been a few hours as you can see but i'm now going to put everything in my luggage i think i'm going to have to take the big base bag and not the carry-on because i just don't have space I 
finished packing. This is my first time ever packing with the base bag and I have to say I am obsessed. I feel like this is such a spacious luggage. I just hope it's not overweight, but I did overpack, I have to say. I actually filmed a reel slash TikTok, which maybe I'll upload it here on YouTube Shorts showing everything that I packed. But yes, I am so, so happy. Gonna stay.